without infrastructure, it is impossible to trade and therefore to grow economically and socially. Everyone agreed it brings about productivity improvements, general well-being, social well-being and as well real economic growth to the country. In the South China Sea will in fact create the economic history for at least this century, if not for this coming millennium. Infrastructure requires ongoing investment and the longer a government leaves it, the costlier it becomes. Chinese companies, they have the technology, they have the capital, but they, they don't know the international market. It must be within the regulatory framework, and it must be a bankable project for a commercial entity or private sector entity to come into play. to come together to make infrastructure investments work. Just one person or one entity is not going to be able to provide the entire solution. We really have to question the social benefits of all our infrastructure schemes. Does it really benefit the people.